Hi there, SLP Carrie here. And you might be wondering, Carrie, why don't I just memorize the negotiation questions and statements? Because your success depends on how you ask each question and say each statement. Let's do a quick warm up. Questions glide up. Glide up for a question. Step down to indicate the end. Come down to end in utterance. Come up part way for more to say. Come up part way means more to say. We're going to watch three examples where Chris Voss models how to negotiate in your favor. And by the way, Voss is still a negotiation expert, but his previous role was negotiating for the lives of people. Is it disrespectful if I ask to clarify a few points? Voss recommends asking questions that tend to elicit a no answer. Saying no, it helps people lower their guard. And this is in contrast to saying yes, where they tend to get their guard up. Like, what else are you going to, you know, ask from me? Let's practice this question. Is it disrespectful if I ask to clarify a few points? Is it disrespectful? Disrespectful? If I asked? Is it disrespectful? If I asked? To clarify a few points, to clarify a few points, to clarify a few points, all together. Rising for the question, is it disrespectful? Come up part way, if I asked. Down to finish, to clarify a few points, all together. Is it disrespectful? If I asked to clarify a few points, how'd you do? Here's the next one. Take it or leave it? With that upward inflection. Boy, that upward inflection is great for making sure something lands gently. Even something you're afraid may sound harsh. So again, I'll do it for you. Take it or leave it? With this example, take it or leave it, it's a strategy called mirroring. It's not always, but it's generally where you repeat the person's last three words. It could also be three important words that they recently said. So let's practice this, take it or leave it. In contrast, if you came straight down, notice how it sounds take it or leave it. Pretty harsh. How about that rising question that Chris mentioned? Leave it. Leave it. Come up part way to indicate you have more to say. Take it or leave it. All together. Take it or leave it. What did you think? You've been very generous. It sounds like there's nothing more you can do. For this example, Chris Voss recommends using a label. Refer to what the other person has presented to you as showing they're being generous. And then your final statement, you're hoping to encourage more generosity. You know, there's nothing more you can do. Let's practice it. So we're going to come down for that first statement. You've been very generous. Notice the difference if we came up. You've been very generous. Doesn't sound as authentic. Again, you've been very generous. Generous. You've been very generous. Come up part way. 
it sounds like there's nothing more you can do. There's nothing more you can do. It sounds like there's nothing more you can do. All together, step down. You've been very generous. Come up part way. It sounds like down to finish. There's nothing more you can do. All together. You've been very generous. It sounds like there's nothing more you can do. And there you have it. Three examples modeled by Chris Boss where you first try and entice the other person to answer no to your question. Then you mirror, which is generally the last three words that someone has said. And the final strategy was to label. In that example, we labeled that person, their offer or their price as being generous.